Are you a high school or college graduate? Or perhaps it is your dream to be graduated? Well, you can reenact graduating inside Rec Room. This is a tutorial for my map RecWiki, an in-game resource I have made for any player to view any earnable cosmetics from the game. Visit my room and click the Gowns button under the miscellaneous section to view these sets that I talk about in this video. Special thanks to Oxy and Rainix for providing RecWiki with these sets. Now, back to the video. Now, there are three categories of gowns. There's Graduate, Teacher, and Tutorial. Each of these categories holds three gowns. In the first category, each gown is earned in a different way. These gowns are easy to differentiate from the others because they are a solid color. They are also reminiscent of a high school or bachelor's degree graduate. The cap is square, and the gown is plain, with a zipper in the center. This first category holds the black gown, the green gown, and the red gown. In order to obtain the black gown, you simply need to visit the room Graduation. There, you will receive boxes with your gown inside. The green gown is earned after completing a semester of a Maker Pen class. You can join one of these classes by visiting the Class Info channel in the Community tab of the Rec Room Discord. Simply find a class that interests you, check their schedule so you can attend each class, and then sign up. The red gown is earned when you join a very specific kind of class. This class is the Film Academy. There are very few film classes, which makes getting into one very competitive. Submissions close fast. The film class that I signed up for filled up within two days. Film classes are as they sound. They are to teach you how to create and edit videos. Now, teacher gowns and tutorial gowns look very similar, both being reminiscent of a doctoral or PhD graduate. If you play on Quest 2, then these two gowns look almost identical. So, how can you tell them apart? Well, the distinction between the teacher and tutorial gown is in its trim. A teacher's gown will have silver trim, whereas a tutorial gown will have a gold trim. An easy way to tell the difference between the actual tiers of gowns is to look at the gown itself. On its torso, it will have one tab for a tier 1 gown, two tabs for a tier 2 gown, and as you may have guessed, three tabs for a tier 3 gown. To obtain a teacher's gown, you must either work your way up to become a teacher in a specific class, or create your own class. Keep in mind that when you create a class, you must create a discord, follow a schedule, and teach students something useful over the course of multiple weeks. Each class can only have up to three teachers. Your class can have a fourth teacher if your class has 30 or more active students who are attending class. This is also true for a fifth teacher and 60 or more students. However, this is extremely rare. After teaching a class for 10 hours, you will receive a purple gown. This is known as the Tier 1 Teacher Gown. Tier 1 gowns only have the gown and hat. This is true for both teacher and tutorial gowns. The next tier is Tier 2, which is an orange gown. This gown is given after teaching for 20 hours. It comes with a gown, hat, and sash. Sashes are for only Tier 2 and Tier 3 gowns. Again, this is true for both teachers and tutorials. When you see someone wear a sash, know that it takes great effort and achievement to earn it. The final gown that you may earn as a teacher is the green gown. This Tier 3 gown is earned after teaching for 30 hours. Teaching also has a fourth tier, but this is not a gown. After teaching for a total of 50 hours, you receive a teacher's maker pen skin. Please note that workshops do not award teaching gowns. Workshops, for those of you who don't know, are similar to classes, but instead of students signing up for class, students would simply join an event in-game. Classes are for larger subjects, such as building terrain, whereas workshops are for smaller subjects, such as building a mountain. Finally, the tutorial gowns. I will not go into great detail, as there are already tutorials on how to create tutorials. I'll leave it to the experts. There will be a link down below on the how and why of tutorial creation. Long story short, in order to earn these gowns, you simply create good quality tutorials and submit them in the Rec Room Discord. 
The first gown is blue, known as the Tier 1 Tutorial Gown. This is the easiest to obtain. Submit a few well-edited videos with good information to earn this gown. The second gown is the Red Tier 2 Tutorial Gown. This is where you earn the first tutorial sash. The jump between Tier 1 to Tier 2 takes great effort. You must really show why you deserve it. This can take several months to earn. The third and final tier of the tutorial program is the White Tier 3 Tutorial Gown. At the time of this video's recording, less than a dozen people have earned this gown. This is the most difficult gown to achieve. This is an even greater leap than it took to become a Tier 2 Tutorial Maker. This one will take dedication to both the tutorial program and video creation. Many of the current Tier 3 gown holders spent over a year working towards this gown. And they didn't stop there. They continued to make outstanding tutorials for players of all skill levels. Thank you for watching, and if this video is helpful and informative, please leave a like. Good luck on your educational endeavors, and I'll see you at the library.